Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and as you know, my favorite media serving application, Plex, has been a sponsor of the channel here, and we've been covering a lot of the premium Plex Pass features that they have as part of their subscription tier. So you do get a bunch of cool stuff that you can do with their software for free, but if you want to do things like the live TV and the DVR features and a bunch of the other things that we've covered, you do have to pay to get up to that Plex Pass subscription. And up until now, they haven't offered a way to try it out first before you buy. You had to do a three month subscription for $15 before you could even try the features that we've been covering, but they are going to be extending an offer to all of you uh, to get a three month subscription subscription for free. So if you go to lon.tv slash plexpass or you can go to plex.tv slash redeem and use the coupon code lontv before checking out. Either case, your screenshot should look the way you see it on screen right now where the monthly charge shows up as zero uh, to begin your three month trial. Just make sure it shows zero before you check out and you should be ready to go with this. Now, this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, although they are reviewing this content before it is posted to make sure I'm giving you the right instructions as to how to set up your free account. Now, we've covered a lot of Plex Pass features over the last couple of months. I'm going to put a playlist together of all of them so you can see how it works. But uh, very briefly, some of the things you can get, of course, are uh, the live TV and DVR features that I mentioned at the outset. You've got things like the syncing feature where you can download stuff for offline viewing. You have cloud syncing options for accessing your media without a server. And also you get early access to a bunch of new and uh, really cool beta features as they get introduced, including the DVR that was introduced a few months ago. FlexPass subscribers were the first to try it out. So if you always like trying out new stuff, uh, you'll be able to get access to it very quickly as a Plex Pass subscriber. They even have some good discounts on the hardware you might need to get all that stuff working. They had a good deal a few months ago on the HD Home Run tuners. Sometimes you see some WD products on there and a bunch of other uh, sites and services are offering discounts to Plex Pass subscribers. But I did want to show you a couple of more things in this video because we haven't covered everything you can do on the Plex Pass just yet. And I've been playing around with the uh, music and photo features. They've been really extending some feature sets into those those two areas for Plex Pass subscribers, and I wanted to share a few things that I'm doing with it right now. So let's take a look first at music. Now, when you become a Plex Pass subscriber and you create a music library, it's going to give you the option now to create a premium library, which gives you access to better artwork and bios. Uh, you also have the ability to use their smart mixes, which you can uh, set up based on mood, for example. So if you are familiar with some of those cloud services where you say, I just want to listen to some rock music, uh, this is now going to work with Plex with your own music. So whatever you have on the uh, server will be integrated into those smart mixes. Uh, they also have better um, music recognition and matching, so you can actually sonically match up your files to the right thing. So if you're like me and you've got a bunch of files with no uh, real names to them, it will actually look at the audio footprint of those uh, files and match them up that way versus just relying on file names and track lengths. So it's going to uh, hopefully organize some of your files that have been sitting around on drives a little better perhaps than what you've currently got going. Uh, the other cool thing that it's got now are lyrics too. So if I go into uh, one of these songs here from Garbage, I think uh, this song has the lyric thing working here. So if I start playing this music back here, let me just turn off the sound before I get a copyright flag. Uh, if I go down to the bottom here, you should see an option for lyrics. And uh, what will happen here is as it's playing, it's going to show me where in the song those lyrics are being uh, sung, essentially. So you can see now that uh, it's got this portion highlighted, which is what Shirley Manson is currently singing on the tracks. So you do have some ability to follow along as to what you're listening to. Now, what I'm doing with my music is uh, slowly building up a collection of lossless audio files. Now, I do have uh, some subscription services that I use, but I really want the best possible audio quality for the music that I own, including my uh, collection of CDs that I've spent the better part of 20 years collecting. So what I've been doing is converting those CDs into FLAC files, which are rather large, but I've got plenty of space on my server over there. And one of the nice things about Plex is that I can store those super high quality versions on the Plex server uh, in the closet over there. And on devices that support lossless audio, like my uh, laptop here, I can listen to those files in the best possible audio quality. But if I switch to my phone that doesn't support lossless audio files, 
it will convert, Plex will, uh, convert that audio in real time to a format that it can play. So it'll transcode audio uh, just like it does video. And that's been really helpful for uh, keeping my collection in one place without having to have a separate uh, collection of compressed music in addition to the uncompressed stuff. Plex will handle all of that in real time. And if you are a Plex Pass subscriber, you can download that music for offline listening as well. And if it needs to transcode it into a different format, it'll do that for you automatically. Now, one of my other media archiving challenges involves my old photographs, and I'm looking at maybe using Plex as a way to solve that problem. I have 20 years worth of digital photographs. I bought my first digital camera in 1997, and I've been taking pictures ever since. In fact, just the other day, I found the uh, 48 megabyte card I was using on my original Kodak digital camera. And as you can imagine, it's really tough to uh, find a way to organize all of those photographs. And I'm really reluctant to uh, spend a lot of money to just put them into a cloud service somewhere and have to go through the uh, effort of uploading everything. Uh, what I like about Plex is that it runs on my local server here and I can uh, add as much storage to it as I want without a cost escalation, which I think would be a great way to solve this problem. And if you are a Plex Pass subscriber, uh, they've started working on some automatic indexing features that I think are pretty cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing them uh, develop further. So what I've got here right now is just a bunch of photos that I just added randomly to the mix here. And if I type in, for example, car, you'll see here it's giving me some tags of cars. So if I click on car here, it'll pull up a bunch of pictures in my library of cars. But I didn't tag these myself. It actually was able to do that uh, from some artificial intelligence that it, it ran on my photographs to uh, figure out what was in the image. I even have, for example, here, if I type in dog, I get pictures of my uh, two dogs. And if I go back here and uh, look for dog again, you can see it even breaks it out by an Eskimo dog, for example. Both of my dogs are uh, Siberian Huskies, who are uh, Arctic dogs. Or you can look for a sled dog, for example. It pulls them up that way also. So there's uh, some really cool stuff here happening uh, with the Plex Photo Library and AI that will help, hopefully, uh, me organize all of my pictures better. Because I don't have time to go through and tag them all individually, uh, but I would like to be able to put them somewhere and be able to actually look at what I have because I've got, again, 20 years worth of photos that I've got to figure out. So they're doing some really cool stuff here on both the music and the photo area. And if you are a subscriber, you'll get access to whatever feature features they add next automatically as part of that subscription, which of course you'll get uh, free for three months if you uh, click on the link down below in the video description. So that's going to do it for this sponsored video from Plex. Do click on that link if you want to take Plex Pass out for a spin. And this is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Tangential Soup Podcast, and Chris Allegretta. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.